Welcome to the Bullhorn, Howard. Thanks for joining me. We're going to talk about old media companies like mine, Time Warner, and CBS, Disney, even you know some of the distribution guys like DirecTV and cable companies. They're all actually doing reasonably well, and, and you have an interesting theory on why that might be the case. Yeah, my theory is Microsoft Skype deal. <laughs> no. my, my theory is that Steve Ballmer is not running any of those companies. Ooh, very nice. Well played. Uh, no, my, my real theory may be that Twitter has saved television. Twitter has saved television. New media well, is saving old media. Imagine that. I think it's a combination of Netflix kicking some serious bootay. And I think they have put the pressure. They've got so much distribution and so many people signing up for streaming live that CBS and the rest are considering it. This is like a whole new change of tactics for CBS. CBS has put out some great shows. Right. Uh, live sports will never go away. And they found a great mix of shows, so people love TV. If you look at CBS, if you look at DirecTV, if you look at ESPN, which is uh, you know ABC, yep. uh, Disney, these stocks are at or near all-time highs. This is not because of oil prices. It is not because of uh, you know perfect management. TV is in a little revival period. They're using the tool. The tools around them have finally got better, got good enough that TV is actually better. Yeah, that's a very good point. I mean, everyone talks about how old media is a dinosaur and that uh, companies like Twitter and Facebook are a threat. But I think you have a, a great point there. When you, you look at what pe what are people sharing in terms of information on Facebook, it's, it's New York Times articles or I would hope articles from CNN Money or blog posts from StockTwist. You know, you look on Twitter, I mean, people talk about shows that they're seeing on CBS and ABC, maybe not so much NBC because they're still in last place. But if you didn't have all this old media content, what would people be actually tweeting about? If NBC would let down the death gate, I could finally watch Days of Our Life <laughs> exactly when I want uh, on my iPad with a box of Kleenex and bring on back my teen years. No, yes, I think, The demise I think of the, the soap opera is a bullhorn for another time. I like General Hospital, but let, let, let's just bring it down a notch. I apologize. I, I lost my soul there. What I'm saying is the product's good. People are addicted to TV, and TV's been brought into their lap that doesn't get hot. We have a, hot, we have a cool TV in our lap, the iPad, and it's connected to the Internet. So I was going to Amsterdam last week. I forget why. But everybody was telling me to load up the wire, to go down to my uh, local iTunes stores in my lap, and I download a season of iTunes, somebody's making money in old media. Yep. And that's, you know, HBO is owned by somebody. I'm just a little tired, so I don't, can't connect all the I dots. think they might be owned by Time Warner, which is also the parent of CNNMoney.com. See what I do there? I work in the Time Warner stuff. See what I, I do? I'm like it's, a, it's, it's I'm amazing. Like a, I'm a gift to Time Warner. So anyways, what I meant to say was, before you rudely interrupted me, is that, uh, I forget. <laughs>